let's go back to the firebombing then. Mm. So, again, just the background on that one is, you know, Skinner, um, he was like homeless when he was brought into the criminal enterprise and he became the top selling XC salesperson. So he was like my little brother. We were like really tight. We were always hanging out. We was always close at the parties and everything. But then Wildman, when Wildman came over, because I was spending so much time with Wildman, Skinner got jealous. <clears throat> so then there was this like rivalry between them which culminated in Skinner trying to encourage some people, such as Max, to pull scams on us. And um, he, he was one of one of the bodyguards in the beginning, Max. But it culminated with the firebombing of... He was of, trying to drive me off him. ...of Wild Woman's place. Yeah. So did Max move in with you, protecting you with a shotgun Because you for, told him to. Was that before the firebombing? I don't know. Because hadn't someone been robbed? So we put Max in yours with the shotgun and he answered the door with the shotgun. Was, no, he just answered the door with shotguns. But there, for some reason you said you were something, that, something had happened. No, we had, he needed somewhere to we, stay. There was a reason we put him there. You wanted him to stay there for a bit. You were getting I, stuff delivered somewhere. Hadn't someone been threatened or robbed that we knew? No, there was a delivery due next door, I think. Okay. Something like that, was it? I can't remember, you know. To be honest, so he's in, he was there for a reason. So he was on meth all the time with the and shotgun. I didn't like him there because he was walking around with this bloody gun. I said, he's just going to shoot He's making me nervous. Walking around like an idiot. He's supposed I mean? to make you feel protected. And it was making me nervous. I, I didn't want him around. I could protect my bleeding self. Yeah. You know what I mean? Didn't need him. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't trust him. I didn't like him. So then weird. Skinner Skinner encouraged him to say that his product had been... Robbed, even though yeah. they just yeah. they just kept it and sold it, didn't they? Lying. And you warned me, didn't you? Yeah. You said there's, so a, there's so a scam there's, going on there's here. Something not right. So not yeah. fit. Not set right with me. Yeah. So that's when we knew, like Skinner was plotting against us. And then, what happened on the day of the fire bombing? Then it was weird. I was because the window was here like that, so the yeah. desk thing where I had all my stuff was here. So you were so on, like on, sec- on the second floor at this point of a, of a place on the ground the floor. The bottom was the apartment. Oh, it was the ground floor, that's right. It was yeah. the apartment, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bedroom was around, it was like a little bungalow, t- like my bungalow similar. Yeah. In like yeah. an L shape. Yeah. So I was in the back room mm-hmm. and so I had this side of my face to the window and I was talking to, I can't remember who was a, in the chair, I think it was either, I can't say names. It was, I was talking to, I, I can't think of the... Just say someone, yeah. Yeah, there was somebody sat there, one of the lads. Yeah. And um, the next thing, this, it was so fast, it took the skin off my face, remember? Yeah. It skimmed past my face. Yeah. And it just went up. Yeah. So everybody's running, and I'm running back in to get all the crap. I'm not even all that shit there, so I'm gathering all this stuff and yeah. putting it all in the bags. Yeah, yeah. And then that lad, one of the lads, I think it was Max, was trying to get me in the car. Come with us, come with us. And trying to cart me off somewhere, and I'm, I'm not getting in no car with you. I don't know you, and I don't trust you. And I ended up with. So what? Let, tap. Me, let me just explain what happened then. So Skinner had recruited a crew of gangsters from the south side to appear on the scene just after Wild Woman had been firebombed, as rescuing Wild Woman. Yeah. They'd come to rescue her. Just appeared out of nowhere. But they wanted her to get in the car with all of her product. Yeah. And liquidate the product from her. So they're like, come on, get in. And these were serious people with weapons looking at Wild Woman, small blonde woman, thinking they could just do anything. And what was your response to them? Fuck off. I'm not getting in your car. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking anything with you two. And what's her name? Um... I heard from other people like you were a bit more ferocious in your response. Well, I was, yeah. And you were like, "What do I look like, chop fucking? Yeah, you think I'm like fucking to, yeah. stupid?" <laughs> I did go off, but went off my head like because I didn't trust him, and I, I did go loopy like. Yeah. And then I thought, is it just me being paranoid, thinking the worst of everything? So no, I always go by my gut feelings, and I yeah. had a gut feeling I didn't. Yeah. And I give the stuff it was trusted to one of the girls. Yeah. Um, she lived in the apartments down the road. Was that the witchy lady? No, she was the one who drove me round. Okay. The witchy lady. Okay. 
followed the other one. Yeah. Because we separated into two cars. Yeah, yeah. To see which one they were after. Yeah. So that's how our woman avoided getting yeah. jacked by Skinner after I'd been jacked. But what had happened was, you know... We Saved all the stuff, though. Yeah, totally. <laughs> People try and take advantage when Wild Man is... They think Wild Man is... is um, can't do any f reprisals because at that point in time, I mean, I've already said Wild Man had been deported three or four times over the course of mm. his stay in Arizona. He was deemed a menace to society. And I think that was like his third or fourth deportation. And um, third, I think that was. third one was it. So he was in a federal deportation camp. And because it was like his third one, they were holding him longer and longer each time he was getting deported. I think he'd been in there for, for, what was it, like nine months or something? In there a while. And what was he what was he saying then on the phone from the federal deportation camp after you told him that you'd been firebombed? Well, he knew who it was straight off the top, didn't he? He yeah. said it was Skinner. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, and he said it is. And then I went round and spoke to him. Yeah. To Skinner, I remember, I went round and messed up with him, and he admitted it in the end. Yeah. That it was him, and he's crying, and I was sorry he was, and... All that shit. And what did Wildman say he was going to do to Skinner? He was going to skin Skinner alive. Yeah. <laughs> to... So I then got a, a lot. Of... So he was terrified to piece of him. Yeah, because what if, you know, Wildman six one, six two, whatever he was, and massive. Even though he'd lost weight on meth, he was still massive and powerful. And Skinner was only short, wasn't he? Yeah. He he he, he couldn't have possibly fought well, man. Even though he was always strapped. He was more conniving than. He was very very conniving. Very Skinner. street smart and conniving. Yeah. He did have a lot of weapons. He got um, one of those. Is it the Thompson machine gun from World War Two? Mm. He had one of them from a gun shop, <laughs> like a giant machine gun. He had all kinds, didn't he? All kinds. Did you see his his other weapons? I've seen quite a few, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember this slim shady knife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He carried yeah. that everywhere, didn't he? Yeah, I think yeah. Peter took that off him in the end. Peter, <laughs> en Peter ended up with the slim shades. Did he? Yeah. Did he? Now things are getting more extreme because while he's in deportation prison, Skinner now sees he's out of the picture. And he's got nothing to worry about. And starts to plot against me again. Not only that, launches a firebomb attack with some gangsters on Wild Woman's pad. Fucking hell. So why, did, did you did hear about that? Yeah, I was fuming. Even though I wasn't with her, I was still fuming. Like, you know what I mean? It's obviously a dig at you. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a dig at me and him. Yeah. Because he, he went to live in Tucson. And like at the time, he was Sean's best e-seller. And then fucking Wild One started selling and ended up doing good and fucking making money for fucking self and making money for Sean. Sure. And like fucking everything went fucking well. And he was, just, he was like a, a jealous... Jealous kid, really, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So we made a bomb, put it through the window, fire bomb. Yeah, did you survive that? Yeah, it, it just missed that. I almost caught it on fire. Fuck I caught some of the place on fire. And um, but what he did was, he then had some guys um, show up and offer to take her to safety. Wow. Ah, so technically, yeah, right. Problem, reaction, solution. In the words of David Icke. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so he he pre he, he was really thinking ahead. That was actually yeah. quite a smart move from he him. He organised yeah. it. He's very smart of him. Yeah. But you can't get one over on Wild Woman like that. So she should she know what the fuck was up? Did she? Oh, right away. She was like, "Fuck you guys! I don't know you guys. You could be taking me out to the desert. I ain't going nowhere with you guys." She was uh, born and bred in a pub in Garston, so she was like pro proper, savvy. Yeah, yeah, streetwise. Yeah, yeah, very, very. So she didn't go. Didn't go. But How, what's this your is, reaction yeah. when this happens? Because well, you're the head of the fucking whole operation. You I, I don't know what's gone down properly. Oh. All I know is that she's been firebombed. I go down there because, like, I've got this close knit network of people, and I just start like calling people in and interviewing people and asking them, you know, what do you think's happened here? What's gone down? What have you heard? And then I found out slowly but surely the word started coming up um, that it was Skinner. And um, one of my strip dancer friends, he'd been at her house before he'd done this and he'd, me he'd mentioned some stuff to her about firebombs and stuff. And um, At that time, he should have gone to the desert in all fairness, but I was in immigration as fuck all I could have done. He deserves it, doesn't he? You know what I mean? Fire yeah, a bit of a woman's like, yeah. 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 
But you didn't have any other heavies at that. You must have had other. Yeah, yeah. I had, I had, I had um, G Dog. I think G Dog was in that prison. But I had another. I had a bouncers. But then Skinner turned one of my bouncers called Vince. I had Vince in Wild Woman's flat. Fucking bouncers with, again. With, with a shotgun. <laughs> Anyone who came over to Wild Woman's flat got greeted by Vince with the shotgun. Um, to make sure that she didn't get robbed or anything like that again, but but Skinner poisoned Vince. Right. So I, um, my wife and Vince went to Germany, and they were going to pick up some pills in Holland, and um, they got high. They had the, in the hotel and they slept together. Right. And Vince was so high, he told my wife all of the stuff that Skinner was plotting, and they wanted to enlist her against me right yeah now she came back and um, she just told me absolutely everything as in she sat with him your yeah. ex-wife's yeah. gonna love that by the way you put so, that on podcast so at this you point got you got banged is, yeah are you, <laughs> are you thrilled that you know no no what did you do about him because really once the people do stuff like that you can't ever trust them again really can they yeah he was out yeah yeah so, so yeah. now I'm paying a lawyer to expedite wild man's release because things are getting too heavy against me now with Sammy the Bull and all that stuff. As in, you, you need him back with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm having a rest with the Mexicans <laughs> cooking and in immigration. So everything's did, good. Did that work then? Yeah, yeah, he came back, but things just went mental. Because now he's at war with Skinner. Skinner's smoking crack, sherm sticks, embalming fluid, crystal meth. What does embalming S- fluid do to you? Um, sherm. It's like uh, basically what it is. It's almost like PCP, I think. It's... When you die, do you put it in your body? To no, but no, it? I mean, what does it do to you there? I know what embalming fluid is, but I oh. mean, what does it actually do to your body? Do you know what I mean? I didn't, I never did it. I never right. did share either, no. Yeah. Does, I never did, did share, no, I never did heroin, never did needles. So, so Skinner's told Marie, his wife, that we're all going to fall down. He's done something against us. And she gives me a heads up. And um, Skinner leaves town. And we don't know he's left town, so Wild Man's at Skinner's place waiting for him to come back to his place. And my mate Joey Crack shows up. <laughs> Wild Man almost. He had so many weapons there, I can't remember which one it was you pulled on Joey Crack. How many weapons did you have in that place ready for Skinner? Well, I had a few in different places, in cupboards and all that. I've never really liked guns and I've ever since seen that guy being killed, mm. killing himself. And I never, well, suicide. I never really dealt with guns. I'd rather have a deal with my fists, so there's a few of them. Obviously, if they've got a gun, I'll put a fucking bat over the head or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, generally, even to this day, there's fucking. I sleep with just I have like a weight fucking bar under my fucking bed. I have a baseball bat in my bedroom. You, know? you do that, don't you, in case of fucking anything you know, happens. <laughs> in case anyone's thinking about trying. <laughs> yeah. That's what everyone does, though. <laughs> so you get out and you're straight back into the scene. And well, I can't concentrate right now. He's right? on meth every day. I'm now. on meth every day. And the red dots are kicking in. My yeah. goal is just to the red kill, dots are literally kill him to do That's what I want to do. I want to hunt him down, take him to the desert and do him in. So Skinner is going to end up in the desert, is he? Skinner, Skooly. And I'm trying to restrain him, trying to keep Skinner calm. Skinner's doing as many drugs as him, and it's just, it's, it's going to explode at some Is Skinner point. still dealing at this point for no. you? No. Right. No. So he's basically he's useless He's ripping people to off, using my name now and ripping people off. So he's useless to you at this point? Yes. Right. But he's a credible threat in that he could turn us in.